take questions. Coach? Well, it's a great game to be a part of. Um, really proud of our team's fight. It just stinks that uh, we didn't get the win. Thought we played well enough to win, but just needed to make a few more plays. Um, whether that was on the offensive end or the defensive end, either one. I thought, um, you know, I'm proud of the team that, uh, it, you know, to start the game, it, Virginia Tech came out firing, and, and I'm telling you, we could have laid down and we didn't. We fought and gave ourselves a chance. The same thing happened in the second half, and we, we just wouldn't go away. And I loved that grit. wasn't by accident. It, it was a product of the, the practices and the effort that they gave us this week. So um, it, uh, it's hard. It's hard to not be rewarded when you, when you show improvement, when you get better, when you pour your heart into it. But um, if they'll keep – if they'll hang in there and they'll keep that effort and that focus, we're going to be fine. Let's start with Maria followed by Coral. Coach, I'll start with the questions about the missing players, just why they were out and how long they may be out, and then uh, about this game. Jordan Horston, I, I don't know if she could have possibly given you any more than you think she did. Yeah, so we um, obviously missing three. Um, uh, Rakia Jackson was a coach's decision. Um, they'll be indefinite. Um, Jillian Hollingshed is in concussion protocol, and then yesterday Jasmine Franklin went into concussion protocol. Uh, yes, Jordan Horston uh, thought she poured her heart out, and um, you know gave us everything she had. Proud of her, proud of her effort, and um, you know thought she was being a leader. Cora followed by Chloe. Tamara Key had you know, a much better game than we've seen from her this season defensively. Shut Key down, was able to shoot over her. What were you seeing this week with her that helped her prepare her to have this game? Well, you know, we're just, we're just trying to, to, you know, keep helping her feel comfortable, um, you know, make sure that, that she's getting um, as many reps as possible, you know. Um, I thought today she she pushed through um, because there there wasn't there wasn't a lot of choice. She had to push through for us, and um, you know I thought I thought our coaching staff uh, did a good job with uh, helping get her subbed in and out at the right times, and um, we were strategic with her rest periods, um, and and she she showed some toughness and some grit. And, um, you know, her backup, Carolina Stripling, 10 minutes, five offensive boards. We're really proud of that. Chloe. Um, so it's quite the unofficial timeout, if you will, in that third uh, quarter with the shot clock. Can you guys utilize that in any way to, like, regroup before the fourth quarter? Well, that's what I told the team. I said, let's, let's take advantage of this. Let's let this be a reset for us, not for the other team. Let's, let's try to uh, make sure we're ready to go. Um, and... Uh, we come out of this strong. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, and I don't know exactly what happened the minutes after that. But uh, in that moment, I mean, you, you know, you you just you got to handle whatever's thrown at you. You know, if you're rolling, if you're not, you've got to handle it. And um, you know, I thought our team had a had a good mindset throughout that. We'll go to Reese in the back, followed by Maria. Uh, Kirk, if I'm wrong, but after the first quarter, you guys showed a little bit defensively. You switched to two-three zone to start the second quarter. What was the decision behind that? And then you went back to man-to-man. -man, I believe so. What was the decision behind that? Yeah. So we um, we knew that they they are so talented offensively, and obviously in the first quarter they they put up a lot of points, uh, 23, I believe. Um, start the second, we we thought we'd throw a zone at them to get to maybe just get them out of rhythm. We got one stop. We went back to it a few possessions later. They scored and then stuck with man the rest of the way. Um, we're, we're trying to work on finding a, a plan B defensively for our team um, if, if our man isn't working. I knew we, you have to be good in your man to be able to guard uh, to guard them. We'll go next to Maria. Uh, rebounding was significantly better in this game despite being down post players. You, it looked like you were just needing a little more offensive punch, like one more person to step up. Just How can you work on that? Yeah, you know, we'll go back and look at our shot attempts. I thought we had um, – I thought we missed a couple shooters or, and we missed Tamari on a couple possessions. We've got to clean those up. But 
you know, we had four players make a field goal, uh, only four. And so that's where we, we've got to have people step up, you know, and, and be able to make another basket. And, you know, whether that's, you know, maybe we've got to find them maybe an easier look or, or they've got to get in the gym more or, got, or you know, just maybe wasn't their night. Uh, we, need, we need a little bit more punch, um, you know, in a game like this when you're playing a team. And obviously we, we did our job defensively. I mean, we, you hold them under 60, you've got to give yourself a chance to win. You've got to get in the 60s and give yourself a chance to win. Um, but, you know, going into this game, um, you, you know you've got to score with them because they can put points on the board. Or a fall by Caleb. Mark, you was definitely having her way with Kitley, you know, getting good buckets over her. Um, what kind of led her decision? I know she was getting to the line a little bit to start the third and then kind of didn't get a whole lot of touches the second half. Um, why do you think that is? Was that you know, a play calling decision or you know, what kind of went into that? Yeah, we were, um, I thought we missed her on a few. Um, I thought we, we got a little, um, Got a little impatient offensively in a few possessions and came up empty, maybe took a quick shot somewhere else. We had a few turnovers, silly turnovers during that stretch as well. Um, so we just have to, as a team, kind of go through and look and, you know, uh, we've got to be a little bit more patient in those moments. And, um, you know, it's not that many. Just, to, you know, you, you change change two possessions and, and it's completely different. Um, so, you know, if we could work to change three to five possessions there, it would make a big difference. Caleb and then Reese. It felt like there were a lot of high spells tonight and in past games it felt like Rakia Jackson would kind of come up with a big bucket to get the offense going again. Going forward with her out indefinitely, how are you going to fill that void? Well, I think everybody has to step up. Um, you know, I think we're trying to help that also with some play calling and, and put our players in positions to, to be successful and take advantage of uh, matchups in, in certain situations. Um, you know, um, and we can. And we've got, we've got players that will be able to do that. I, I thought, you know, the, the stat on here that you wish you could see a little bit better. We had eight, 18 offensive boards, which is a great for us. So excited for us that we only came up with 11 points. So, so in those dry spells, getting an offensive board and, and turning it into a bucket, that, that would be a big play. You know, we've got to finish some of those better. Both, both you and Jordan Morrison have mentioned that uh, practice was a lot better this week. What about practice? Well, we, we really – we didn't do any offense on Tuesday and Wednesday. We did no offense. It was all defense. Um, and w we knew that was the area we had to grow. Um, really, really got them up and down, held them accountable. Um, it was tough. It was really tough. They had to fight. They had to have a lot of grit to get through practice this week. And, um, you know, we, we told them that that's not a one-time thing. That's, that's it forevermore. And now, for, you know, moving forward, um, the immediate future, we've got to find how to continue to have that toughness, that grit, maybe just uh, shorten that practice a little bit tomorrow. But they're going to be drained emotionally. This, this took a lot out of them physically, but emotionally as well. Um, you know, the, to, to come up short there, uh, I know it's hard on them. I know they're proud of their effort. I do know that, and they need to be. Um, but now I've got to get them, get them ready to get back up physically and emotionally and mentally for Tuesday. I understand you'll get Jillian back before Jasmine, but do you have a timeline for them? And if you don't, you know, how can you, I guess, work to capitalize more on Tamara Key now that she is kind of hitting her stride? Well, um, when, when our players are in concussion protocol, it is literally day to day because we cannot anticipate um, how that progression is going to go. I, basically, every morning I get an update on, on where they're at. So um, I will be. I will be finding out on a daily basis about, about those, those two players. Um, and yeah, I, I hope that this will help Tamari, uh, Tamari's confidence. You know, for her to, to her to come out and play like she did against the uh, ACC Player of the Year, I mean, she did a great job. And she needs to be proud of that. She needs to be excited about that and she needs to build on that. And I think she will. All right, uh, one more from Cora. That's fine. Tamari said part of the mental aspect of her and the team has really been good at supporting her and helping her come along. How have you kind of seen that um, and just how the whole program has kind of just supported her as she's found her way this season? Yeah, I think, you know, that's one thing that um, one is a coaching staff. We try to meet our players where they are and we try to help them 
We try to support them. We want them to feel good. And um, really proud of her teammates for, you know, for being there for her, picking her up and, um, you know, uh, showing her that support. You know, it's, um, you know, she, she wants she wants this, and she's she's a good teammate, and her teammates love her. So, not surprised she felt that support. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, guys. See you uh, Tuesday.